everyone welcome again so this is a third question today i'm going to talk about according to pu government uh, ncert syllabus of 12th the today's topic which i have picked that is central problems of economy which is in a microeconomics first chapter as i said it's a first uh, first chapter topic so let me talk about central problems of economy so i have already in the previous videos i have discussed about one of the topic which is scarcity definition so i have to repeat in uh, each and every topic because this is the main reason why every economic activity started in our economy so scarcity definition says about as i said it's one of the scientific and it is uh, represented by leon robbins so he says human wants are limited so we have so many desires front of that resources are very much limited so if you want to fulfill your wants so front of that you don't have much of resources because of that always we always go with alternative choices you you have very much limited resources you have to use it in the best possible way without wasting it so the next last one says problem of choice you have so many alternatives picking that the which is the best one and which is good for the people and in a cheaper way you can produce you have to go with these all techniques this is the way how production consumption any kind of activity in economy runs actually so i've already briefed this in the previous video so i'm not going to take much time in these topics when i'm talking about central problems of economy so i have to explain you what are central problems of an economy and why i'm talk we are talking about it so let me tell you we always comes with this kind of a conclusion we are in india so only india are suffering with lot of uh, problems you know most probably economic problem financial infrastructure issues so many issues we are facing but let me tell you each and every country they are going with lot of issues lot of problems the same way every economy is going with some common problems the some, some common problems what we are facing that we are facing because of simple reason that's a scarcity see our wants is unlimited so at the same time if resources are in plenty i don't think so this topic would have been raised here raised here but unfortunately we have unlimited want want unlimited want sorry so in front of that resources are very much limited so in this case to managing this unlimited wants are here demand is here and supply is here matching this and reaching each and every individual allocating the resources and giving each and every necessary things to the people so it is really a task for us in that case the three important problems arises in each and every economy is going to face the three issues are as i said every economy is going to face lot of issues but every economy is going to face some basic problems the basic problems in economy those are called as central problems of an economy when it comes to production it is definitely related to scarcity so if you're going to answer as i said this is a four mark question which i am discussing the whole three uh, concepts which i have discussed from uh, you know including this chat this particular topic so all questions are four mark question if you're going to pick four mark question so definitely you need introduction part so you're going to write this as a introduction explaining this after that we'll come to a point so every country as i said uh, facing lot of issues the basic economic problems are these three that those are called central problems of an economy so we have three important central problems of economy then first one is what to produce and what quantity i'll explain to so the second one is how to produce the last one is for whom to produce the first question is what to produce and how many how much quantity we are going to produce the second question come how we going to produce and the third one for whom to produce keep it in your mind it's quite easy what to produce how to produce for whom to produce three basic issues every economy are facing because of the scarcity issues and problem in choice so let me go with what exactly what to produce so when it comes to what to produce we we need so many goods and services in a regular life daily life you might need you most probably you demanding for consumer goods also producers are demanding for uh, producers goods both the goods should be produced and what quantity we going to produce what are consumer goods here so consumer goods are basic needs like health you know, basic infrastructures you need you need education you need health you need the hospital good uh, hospital facility roads facility infrastructure facility 
so this way consumer needs the three kind of things i can i can say that one is basic needs comforts goods and the third one is a luxurious goods all three things should be supplied that's all consumer goods the consumer goods is the consumer the uh, to survive whatever the goods we are going to consume those are called as a consumer goods on the other side you have producer goods what is producer goods here the producer good means the good which is needed for the production process it can be capital good it can be raw material any of the good which is demanded by the producer to produce any of the goods those goods will be called producer goods so we have to produce both if consumer want to purchase anything so that will be produced by producer so we have to produce producer goods also and consumer goods also when it comes to producer goods so machineries equipments uh, different kind of a tools we have to produce for the producers also so this way we have to fulfill consumer goods and the producer goods that's a question here what to produce for example i'm giving you a view now so the war is going on you have very limited money with you very limited resources so you you have to produce food also you have to produce what equipments also in what ratio you are going to produce yeah, otherwise what you going to live if for an example if you going to produce what equipments you not going to invest you are not going to produce any of uh, you are not going to invest on food that mean where you will get energy to fight you always you, anyways you are die so if you invest in your all resources in the production process of food you're just having food you're not fighting the war so finally the opposite guy anybody will come and kill you anyways you will be there both the way it is death so this way which good you should produce so that's a uh, you know tricky question here see in your home when you're going to prepare food it is a big task for your family every day planning think about the country each and every class at different classes people are there what they are demanding fulfilling their needs it's a definitely a bigger task so what we going to produce what actually is needed so the limited resources what we have how we are going to utilize in the best possible way that's a question here what we going to produce what actually people are demanding and what quantities so everything you cannot produce only rice you cannot produce only wheat you cannot produce only sugar every good should be produced so you have to come with one fixed quantities which how many quantity what is a, what will be the quantity what we going to produce so fixing the priorities the fixing the quantities also very much important so this way what good we going to produce at the same time what quantities that good will be produce both are very much important when it comes to economic decisions that's called as one of the central problem the second one is how to produce it's a technique problem so when we going to produce which technique we are going to use so here we have two techniques one is labor intensive technique another one is capital intensive technique what is labor intensive technique and what is capital intensive technique let me talk about labor intensive technique labor intensive technique that means a simple explanation of it in any production process maximum they are using human resource than the machineries instead of machines they are giving priority to employ more and more human resources if you are using more labors then it will be called labor intensive technique for example india where our country's population is really very much high giving employment is the priority if you are going to give employment only then they are going to earn money through that they can lead their uh, life at the same time they can increase their stand of life so this way definitely labor intensive technique is very much needed where the places we see that higher population the population rate is really very high on the other side we have capital intensive technique what is capital intensive technique so here capital means we have to consider the machineries so we have different different meaning for the capital right now we'll fix it with the machineries so here capital intensive technique means using more of machineries than the human resource that means if you see big factory different kind of channels you will be seeing few of the uh, you know uh, series or something like that where big factory show will be coming in that the large industries very big industries are producing uh, with very minimum labors hardly they will be having 5 to 10 people to work in a industry and it's producing it is supplying for whole world it's supplying for whole country so this way the capital intensive te technique it says 
it talks about the maximum machineries are used than the labors why is versa relationship here maximum human resources are yeah human human resources are used uh, population will be used who is considered as a labor on the other side capital intensive where they are going to use more of machineries than the uh, human resources this way they both are very much opposite it depends which country will, what technique they have and what they want actually so on the other side both are having some benefits and advantage and the disadvantage we'll talk about it later when i'm going to get for the next topics so the third question here for whom we are going to produce so we already decided one of the wood for an example just imagine we are going to produce ac here by using all resources we are producing ac which technique so definitely i feel so capital intensive technique everybody thinks of capital intensive technique is the best efficient way so just think that i'm going with a capital intensive technique where i'm going with ac which is already luxurious goods consumable good luxurious good i'm going with capital intensive technique so definitely the price will be very much more it the costly so then who is going to buy this so definitely the rich people are going to buy so this way the good which we are producing the technique we are going to use so definitely that is going to decide for whom actually we are producing so if you are producing basic infrastructure if you are producing a government if you are going with construction of a government hospital so definitely that is for the poor people so what you are going to produce that is going to decide for whom you are going to produce to whom it is going to reach whom will you targeting are you targeting rich people for the consumption of these goods are you targeting poor people so both matters so few of the uh, solution says they are going to uh, target rich people few uh, producers they are going to attack so they are going to target poor people so this way for whom you are going to produce and reaching each and everybody allocation of resources more than a production allocating it it's a more risk we have to reach each and every individual who really demanding it so that is also a task so when i'm talking this before concluding it i have to say this we are living at home when we are living when we are planning for our home what we are producing today what we are cooking to decide for the four people it's a biggest task for us every day we we'll think 100 times multiple time like what we going to do that what we going to produce this what we going to do think about our country where 121 crore population according to 2011 census for these many population these many people we have to decide what good we have to produce so at the same time which quantity for everybody we have to reach and which uh, technique we going to decide at the same time are we reaching both rich and poor whom we are ignoring concentrating these all so this is really a biggest task for any government or uh, any economy so that's why this is called as central problems of economy it's a biggest issues for any economy so i hope you got this point so first if i am going to talk about this topic first we will take this as a introduction part in the writing part more than you understand more than you read your presentation when you going to write the answer it should be very much nice so for that reason always you go with introduction part so briefing the points then finally you have to go with the conclusion so first introduction you have to write about scarcity i have uh, you know noted here in point wise you can go with a note wise in a paragraph wise then you write what are the three problems and what actually it is you have to brief each and every point what to have briefed here so i hope you understood today's class thank you so much in the next class i'm going to meet with centrally planned economy thank you